far as Roman Banks as well as student athletes Christopher Hyder and Adrian Rogers. Roman, if you like, you can start with an opening statement, then we'll open the floor for questions for our student athletes only. Well, <coughs> I thought that uh, uh, congratulations first to Holy Cross. Uh, they did a well, good job. You know, they're well coached, and uh, I thought early on that they set the tone. Um, I thought they came out of the gates with a lot of energy and executed very well. I thought that it took us a little time to find our rhythm in the zone, uh, that one three one that they play. And uh, I thought as the game would go, I anticipated that as the game would go, that I was relying on our defense to kind of keep us close to the game and hopefully that we make a run and could sustain ourselves. But obviously, one thing they do, they shoot the basketball very well and they proved that tonight and uh, they made some timely baskets that hurt us and ultimately I think separate the game from us. Questions for Christopher and Adrian only at this point. Yep, here on the right. A-Rod, y'all had a difficult offensive time in the first half. You came out and scored seven quick points to start the second half. What made the difference there early in the second half for you? Uh, started attacking the gaps. We all feel we weren't doing that enough in the first half, so start attacking the gaps and then and that just really opened up the zone. So they start respecting that and then when we start attacking the gaps and kicking out, we start getting better looks at the rim. Turn right again. Sebo, I know it's difficult so sh soon after the game, but can you just kind of put this season in perspective? A, a week ago, y'all had lost four out of five games, and you run through the conference tournament, you get back to the NCAAs. Can you try and sum up the season? Uh, it just was a lot of ups and downs. Like tonight, we lost that game on small things, and the games we lost before the conference tournament was small things, which is rebounding. So the small things really hurt us this season. And like tonight, they hit two big threes on, that was our mistakes, not what they done. It was our mistakes and that cost us the game. Tim, on the left. You know, on the other side, y'all's zone seemed to give them problems too, you know, too on occasion tonight. Did it feel like a heavyweight battle out there? What did it feel like in the midst of it there, the last five minutes? Christopher? Uh, Kind of, sort of. We just got good coaches, so they felt like, and man, they was in a good rhythm, so we kind of threw them off and went zone for a couple of seconds during the shot clock and went man and kind of just changed up the game and the pace of the game and kind of get it moving the way we wanted to. And that's kind of where we made our run. Here on the right again. Sebo, you kind of triggered that run midway through the second half. I think you had two steals and a layup and uh, assisted on – you made a jumper and assisted on a basket. What what did it feel like at that point? Did you feel like the game maybe was, was turning in your favor when you went up four? Uh, it absolutely did. It turned in our favor. I kind of got us going on the defensive end and kind of got us out in open court where we wanted to play. So that's more of our game. And then – like I say, we made a mistake, and then they started they run, and it was just going backwards and forth from there. Any further questions? Yep, here in the back. Hold on, wait for the mic. Can you just kind of put a, a bow on the season for this, for this point? Christopher. Uh, what you mean by that? Season, the season as a whole, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on the season as a whole? Uh, it, was a, it was a good season. I mean, it's always a good season when you make the NCAA tournament, but we felt like we fell short because we felt like we was we were a better team, but they was the better team today. So, I mean, you only get one chance in this tournament. Tonight we came up short, and we wish we could have kept playing and went to Washington and played Oregon, but unfortunately we lost, and Holy Cross deserves it. Any further questions? All right, Christopher and Adrian, thank you for your time. Congratulations on your season. Thank you. Questions for Coach Banks. Here in the back. Coach, one of the uh, one of the 
things coming into the game is that one three one defensive scheme that they that they implement. That was seems like every telecast was talking about that one three one defense. Uh, what was so difficult about it for your team? I, I think in uh, the short turnaround, especially uh, to prepare for that, is pretty hard. The way that they play it, uh, they rotate a little differently. But um, you know, we expected that. We thought that. Um, playing it in the first half and that we could do better in the second half, and I think we did. I, you know, we started and the guys started understanding the key to it was attacking on the baseline, and they were filling the gaps up front. So we started moving the ball to the baseline, and we got some pretty good looks. And when we got in rotation, we started moving the basketball. So I thought we, uh, in the second half, kind of my mindset, what I thought would happen because you can't practice against it. And so we got a feel for it, and I thought that we made some time in the baskets. I just think that we came short on the other end that we had to do a pretty good job at. I think uh, timely scores hurt us tonight. You're in the right. The second half, you went primarily with Sean and, and Chris instead of DeAdrian and Tony. Was that because you wanted to utilize them on the baseline and try and attack the zone with the quickness rather than having the bigs in there? I think it was twofold. I think if the bigs are not um, – I didn't think that they uh, really understood how to get their position in the zone. And I thought that um, I went with some of the guys that understand how to play a little bit more. But I also did that for the other end, the defensive end, because um, in the first half we had a tough time stepping out, guarding they, they bigs that shoot the basketball. All bigs are traditional. They like staying right by the rim. And so the only one that we have that kind of understand that is Sam. And so uh, we just went with a small lineup where we can get out there because at the end of the day, I thought that uh, uh, Chris Thomas can play big enough and so could uh, Prudham to get out there and, and guard their big. So, and I think that it showed us a little success, but it kind of on the other end, you know, it gave us a matchup problem where they was able to get two timely threes that, uh, that I think that we talked about, but we didn't execute. You're in the back. Uh, talk about uh, Rodgers getting those two quick fouls early in the game. Uh, Traylon Banks kind of uh, having struggling, kind of finding his shot tonight. Uh, just kind of talk about how that kind of uh, put you guys in the hole early. Well, we knew that, uh, you know, when the time you come to this contest, you know, neutral site gym and, and uh, uh, some anxieties that it's, it's proven that you don't shoot the ball as well. And, um, and I think that you had to be able to shoot the ball pretty decent against his zone because we did not, um, weren't able to attack it on the inside like I thought uh, we were capable of. And so, but um, I think down in the second half uh, that we made timely shots um, to give ourselves the opportunity. And I think we went up probably by four. And so I don't think at the end of the day, it's kind of what I uh, thought in my mind about how it play out on the offensive end. Uh, but it was disappointing the way it played out on the defensive end because that's where I thought that we would have our advantage. You're right. You all were three for 20 on three-pointers. Obviously, the zone had something to do with that. But shot selection and just not making shots, how much did that factor into that number? Well, because you're playing against the zone, you know, I like to give the other team all the credit. I thought we had some pretty good looks. And, um, you know, I just think that um, they put enough pressure on us where we didn't shoot the ball well, in which um, I think that against the zone, we, we early on, uh, we settled for shots. And then when we wasn't able to kind of throw the ball into our bigs, then we had to go all perimeter. And, uh, and so, I, you know, you'll like to try to get uh, – uh, some baskets where uh, they have to pay close attention to the inside where they couldn't rotate so fast, but that wasn't the case. So I think we took some some challenge threes um, as well, but playing small, eventually uh, we started getting in the gaps. And uh, I think the second half we took a lot of more twos. Time for one last question. Here on the right, last one. Despite the coming up short tonight, to get back to the NCAA tournament in the first year that you were eligible to do so, can you kind of put the season as a whole in perspective? Oh, yeah. Though, you know, though I'm disappointed and um, we don't want to never get used to accepting losing, 
Um, I have to be a realist and uh, to myself and say that this group uh, went far and beyond, um, you know, where we thought we would be at this time. And we're fortunate enough that, uh, you know, Southern, under my tenure, we only been able to go to postseason twice and we made it. And so I, I got to give my hats to those guys, uh, uh, my players in the locker room that stuck it out and made it and, and stayed with us and stayed with Southern University and to push through and get us back to this to this point. And, uh, and now hopefully um, we can go forward with our program. Roman, thank you. Congratulations on your season. Thank you.